so hello guys so today it's uh, about 5 30 right now in the morning and i've arrived at san francisco airport my flight departs in an hour so yep today is day zero of my trip so it's almost a 10 days trip and i have taken about five days of holiday during which i would be on the cruise so that's all the plan so yep i'm just i just checked in my bags went to security so i have one hour to spend i brought subway so i would be eating that right now and yep that's all for the plan for today so yep airport is slight empty but yeah it's a little rush on that side so yep uh the pimple doesn't look good so yeah so let's get going i will be having myself there and then waiting for my plane yep and then once i reach orlando around 6 pm then i will be taking some rest then friday the entire day i will be working and on saturday i am back so that's a plan Guys, finally after 10 hours of flight, I'm in Orlando and it's hot but I'm waiting for my car which will be coming in next 10 minutes and then we'll go and check in our hotel for tonight. So yeah, that was all about zero, day zero. So guys, I checked in into my airport, uh, sorry hotel, not airport, the hotel. Uh, but uh, I am really hungry. I have a 6 inch subway from yesterday. I ate the first half in the morning before in San Francisco airport. Now I'm going to 7-Eleven to get some water and then I will go to McDonald's because that's the only thing which is cheap and available just right behind the hotel and yeah it's a very dark road at least cars are going but yeah there's no footpath so I'm basically walking on the road so yep get water from 7-Eleven and get some McDonald's that's all for today. Uh, Yep, see you guys soon. Yeah, I didn't need to wash, uh, wash my face also, it's very oily. I didn't wash anything, just dropped my bags and came to 7-Eleven. After going home, I'll wash my face and then start my dinner. Good day for day zero. Hi guys, so today's Friday evening and I'm in Icon Park right now. So I took my car in the morning and I've come, I've come to visit Icon Park. I've been here before once. This is my second time visiting it. So this is the famous name shot. Let's see if someone is going. Yeah, someone is going. Let's see if I can record it. So Icon Park, I really like it. It's one of the best places after Las Vegas and Miami. Third best place for me to spend time. There are like plenty of restaurants and a lot of uh, what we say hotels also yep you can stay for like cheap as $50 to $500 per night here for some someone is going so let's record it <laughs> I want to do that guys that was the famous slingshot of the icon park uh, so the, you can find a lot of restaurants here yeah. for every taste there is yeah for every taste there's Gordon Ramsay restaurants there are lots of bars pubs yard house everything right here so yeah you can find a lot of things to do here in icon park so it's a very nice place to spend an evening even day so it's all this uh, it's on the international drive road and it's almost a mile and a half long so there are plenty of things to do like they have mini golf they have uh, what we say escape rooms and all other activities i'll put the address down so i really like this location definitely if you're coming to Orlando, hey, don't for, forget to visit this place and that's the famous paris well a lot of small shops here as well they have hookahs, so yep, that's also pretty famous here. Uh, the that's my favorite bar, yard house. I would not say uh, local, in, not in local sense, but yeah, in the chain set, they have the best 
beers and like hundreds of beers so i really like that stuff if you're coming with your friends definitely you will love this place you can party you can drink you can eat good food you can enjoy games and there are lots of museums and other stuff as well and that's the most famous paris wheel of uh, icon park so guys this is the icon park paris wheel and this is they have a small area right here so there are small vendors you can see as here and people are just sitting on this a uh, green patch of land and having a great time dancing singing taking photographs so yep so you can see people playing games it's a fun place to be yeah i, I cannot focus on this so the whole there has a dark side trip so i really like this one how can i game So let's go inside and see what's there. So basically, they have the ticket booking for the Paris Wheel, and they have a lot of restaurants as well. They have Sea Life. Uh, it's like a Sea World, but a smaller one, and some gift shop and arcade. You also have a Mad uh, Madame Tussauds right there. You can see, yeah, there's Madame Tussauds as well. But yeah, there's nothing with the one in London. But I've been to New York only, so that's fine. This is how it looks from inside. There was a small barrier as well. I just changed to night mode. Hopefully, I can get some good quality video back. So yeah, so I plan to spend some like nice two hours here, and then later go ahead to my hotel because I really need to sleep too. to be awake at 6 and leave at 7 i'm too cheap to afford a toll pass so because the toll is just like uh, less than a one or two two three dollars and the pass was more than 15 dollars so it didn't make sense to pay a huge amount so i'm just going to detour and detour was worth almost the price of the toll so yeah i'm saving here yeah and they also have a gordon ramsay fish and chips so yep not spending that money i'm getting free food for the next 7 days so you can see people enjoying a great time here so let's keep walking the aisle and uh, the road so yep that's another adventure you can do on i don't want to do that definitely and yep there are again a lot of same street just different activities in the restaurants So they also have buses here running. So yeah, you can use those also. Uh, but fun is in the scooters, not in bus. Trust me. I was staying for seven days last time, and like every day I used to travel by these scooters. It was damn fun, driving in full speed. Yeah. There was a time when I was coming like uh, around one or two o'clock in the night from a restaurant. Oh man, there was less people. because here restaurants are open till generally 3 am in the morning which is really great so i was driving at full speed and my coke fell but yeah i mean <laughs> it's fun getting drunk and driving those scooters i do not suggest to do that definitely but yeah so these are some of the more attractions right here like believe it not i'm not gone in here uh, yeah but yep definitely you can explore that it's already 10 So almost almost going to be 10 o'clock. I don't want to spend much time here. I need to see some energy from tomorrow also. Then there's mirror maze as well. They really have a nice um, mini golf uh, based on the Caribbean theme and pirates and ship. Definitely try that. It's little cheaper but yeah, definitely fun and little tiring as well. So yeah. And guys, that's one of the best pubs in this area. Night, sorry, nightclub. It's basically a nightclub. I went in last time, and it was really fun. So if you are, if you are out here on weekend, definitely go there. The, I think so. The ladies' entries are free. Couple entries are some charge. The typical stuff. But yeah, a good place. So we are walking at the intersection. 
and there here is a McDonald's right here if you can see that's one of the biggest McDonald's I've seen the typical McDonald's we, uh, so basically on the lower floor you can order the food and pick it up second floor is full dining and second and third floor they basically have children's play area with slides and stuff so yep That's the best part of Icon Park. So you can find a lot of these new scooters right here, which are very cheap uh, and they are per mile based or per minute. I don't remember. I used it last time, but yeah, they're. I would say they're as similar as it will cost you Uber from one place to the another. But yeah, uh, but it's also yeah, four people can travel in Uber. But yep, these scooters are really fun for two people. Like, so if you are having you are couple or single, try these scooters. So. You can download this mobile app and you're good to go and it's really fun driving these scooters. Yep. Some of them are not so good, some have them some of them are upgraded models, so yeah definitely try those ones. Yeah, all full party mode right here. This is I would not say it's as good as Las Vegas, but yep. Like in a normal city, Orlando is one of the best ones. Like after Las Vegas, I will definitely rate Orlando. Oh, sorry, after Las Vegas, I will definitely uh, rate the Miami South Beach. I really like it. Not many people will like it, but for me as a party person, Miami South Beach is a good one. And then Orlando. Cheap hotels, good food, good pubs, good activities to do with friends, escape room and museums and attractions, illusions such adventure sports as well what else we can ask for see there are lots of new scooters like there are at every hundred feet you will find a couple of scooters they are all in this icon park region only which is almost a mile drive long so here you can on the right side you can see all the restaurants and attractions and on the left side there are a few restaurants and all the holders on the left side so behind all these restaurants are basically hotels and I'm staying in one of them and it's very cheap so yeah for the week week long you can easily find it under 300 dollars so yeah that's a really good deal you can find it and definitely visit it in a winter, uh, summer we came during summer late summer i would say september and it was still raining so, but now in the march i mean the january is the winter season it's around 20 25 degrees celsius not too cold not too hot but yeah definitely it's cloudy but yeah, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, you can walk in shorts and t-shirts and without sweating, so yeah. I'm going to check us for dinner because this cheap food, I'm finding it on $11. I don't want to spend a lot of money right now, like 30, 40 bucks on a good restaurant because for seven days free food. So yep. Yeah. 